In this video, we're going to cover what agentic design patterns are and why they're completely changing how we work with AI in 2025. Let me start with something that might surprise you. Right now, when most of us use AI like ChatGPT or Claude, we're actually using it in a pretty basic way. We ask a question, get an answer, and that's it. It's like asking someone to write an entire essay in one go without ever looking back or making any corrections. But here's where it gets interesting. Agentic design patterns completely change this approach. Instead of getting a single response, these patterns allow AI to work more like how we humans actually think and solve problems. Let me break this down for you with a simple example. Think about how you write an important email. You probably don't just write it once and hit send, right? You might plan what you want to say, write a draft, read it over, make some improvements and maybe even check some facts before finally sending it. That's exactly what agentic design patterns allow AI to do. Now there are four main patterns that make this possible and each one serves a specific purpose. First we have reflection which is like giving AI the ability to review and improve its own work. It can look at what it's created, spot potential problems and make it better. Second is tool use, which lets AI access external resources. Just like how we might use a calculator or look something up online, AI can use different tools to get better results. This could be anything from searching the web to running actual code to verify its answers. Third, we have planning, where AI breaks down complex tasks into smaller manageable steps. Instead of trying to solve everything at at once, it creates a roadmap of what needs to be done and in what order. And finally, there's multi-agent collaboration, which is particularly fascinating because it's like having a team of specialists working together. Each agent has its own role and expertise and they work together to solve complex problems. Now, you might be wondering why this matters. Well, the results speak for themselves. When we use these patterns, we're seeing massive improvements in AI performance. For instance, in coding tasks, a standard AI might get things right about 48% of the time. But when we add these patterns, that jumps up to 95% accuracy. That's not just an improvement, that's a complete transformation. The really exciting part is that this isn't just theoretical. Companies and developers are using these patterns right now to create AI systems that are more reliable and capable than ever before. It's like upgrading from a basic calculator to a full scientific calculator. Same basic concept, but so much more powerful. What makes these patterns so effective is that they allow AI to work in a more natural, human-like way. Instead of trying to get everything perfect in one shot, it can iterate, improve and build upon its work. It can check its own accuracy, use tools when needed, plan ahead and even collaborate with other specialized versions of itself. Think of it like this. Traditional AI use is like having a really smart assistant who can only answer questions. But with agentic design patterns, it's like having a whole team of experts who can plan, research, create, review and improve their work together. That's the kind of advancement that's really changing what's possible with AI. So whether you're a developer looking to build better AI systems, or someone who uses AI tools in your work, understanding these patterns helps you get much better results. It's not just about getting answers anymore. It's about having an AI that can truly think through and solve complex problems in a more comprehensive way. And that's what agentic design patterns are all about. Transforming AI from a simple question and answer tool into something that can work and think in ways that are much closer to how we humans actually solve problems.